So don't lose heart. Right now, what you need to be doing, talking to your neighbors, talking to your friends, going over all the things that are going on in the state and what, what is happening in our state legislature, what's happening in our quorum courts, and what's happening nationally. Look, what's the cost of gas today? $3.69. They're saying by the end of the summer, it could be now not $5 a gallon, $6 a gallon. $6 a gallon. The average American family, that will devastate them. Why? Thank a Democrat. Thank a Democrat. Because they're the ones who have stood in the way of us going out exploring and tapping our own natural resources. I mean, that's not a lie. I'm not making stuff up there. I'm not being partisan. I'm telling you the truth on that. And they know it as well. And I'll tell you something else. They say there's a $14 trillion deficit in this country. No, 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 no. That's what's on the books. Do you realize that the books do not include Social Security? Do not include the Medicare? Do not include Medicaid? And depending on what report you read, there's either between 55 and $80 trillion of unfunded liabilities in those three programs. You add that up to the other 14 trillion, you've got almost a hundred trillion dollars in debt. One hundred trillion dollars. And the president talks to me about four trillion dollars over 12 years. Stick it up your nose, buddy, because that's BS. I gotta tell you, what, what, even what Congressman Ryan is talking about is not enough. Folks, a fundamental major change has to happen in this country or it's all going to implode. The light at the end of the tunnel is not the end of the tunnel. It is the train coming at us. And the country you and I grew up in, and many of us, I, I count myself amongst this, may be under the ground when it happens. But our kids and our grandkids are still going to be here. And the third world country we're going to leave them if we don't change this is on us. This is our time. This is our moment in the spotlight. We have got to do the job. Thank you very much.